Hello and welcome to a new section, Editing Vector Data. This section details editing the process of QGIS Vector Data using the Python API. The QGS Vector Layer object contains the basics of adding, editing and deleting features. All other geospatial operations are accessed through the processing toolbox or even through custom scripts. We will work with Vector Layer that is adding a point and line feature, polygon feature, field, and other attributes to it. We will change the vector layer geometry, edit features, and more. We will work with shape files, converting, merging, and splitting them, and vector shapes. Let's start with the first video of this section, creating a vector layer in memory. In this video, we will create a point vector layer, layer 1, add fields and validate it. Sometimes you need to create a temporary data set for a quick output, or as an intermediate step in a more complex operation, without the overhead of actually writing a file to disk. PyQGIS employs memory layers that allow you to create a complete vector data set, including the geometry, fields, and attributes virtually. Once the memory layer is created, you can work with it the same way you would with a vector layer loaded from the disk. This video runs entirely inside the PyQGIS console, so no preparation or outside resources are required. Start QGIS. From the plugins menu, select Python console. In the Python console, create a QGS vector layer, including fields, and specify it as type memory. Now validate the layer and ensure the console returns true. The console has returned true. The QGS vector layer requires three arguments. The last one specifies the type, in this case, memory. The second one specifies the layer name, in this case, layer one. Normally, the first argument is the path to the file on the disk used to create the layer. In the case of memory layer, the first argument becomes the construction string for the layer. The format uses query parameters following the convention of key equals value. In this case, we specify the first field, a string for city names, and then an integer field for population. Awesome, we created a vector layer in memory.